In this lesson, we're gonna learn how to create and manage rooms in server-side, and also how to create a session programmatically on the OpenTalk platform. The first thing we need to do is to add the OpenTalk not module to our project. To do so, we will open the terminal and we will type npm install OpenTalk. Let's wait a couple of seconds and now we are able to add the related code. Let's begin by adding a constant for the OpenTalk library that we have just add. So we type required OpenTalk. Now, let's also add a couple of variables that we need. One of them is the API key which we will get from environment variable. These are the values that we got when we created the TalkBox project. We also have the secret, which we'll also get from environment variables. This one is TalkBox secret. Let's also create a variable for rooms information. This initially will be an empty object. Let's also add some basic validation here just to make sure that the API key and the API uh, and, and the secret aren't empty. And if they are empty, let's let's print a friendly error message telling uh, missing uh, talk box keys. Let's also exit the application in such case. Okay, uh, if everything goes well, then we're able to initialize our open talk client by using the constructor OpenTalk and passing the API key and the secret. Okay, now let's add another express route that clients will use to get the information about the room, to get the session ID and to get a token to be able to connect to such session. So that route will be available at get under the room and then a parameter as a parameter the name of the room okay let's create the handler function for such route and here we're gonna initialize or we, we're gonna declare a couple of variables the first one is the room name which we will get from the parameter so we so we type the request the params object and then the name which is name <laughs> we also need the variables for the session id that we're gonna to that we're gonna create or retrieve in case it already exists and also a variable for the token okay now we're gonna put an if here to validate if the room already exists so we're gonna check in the room name key value pair and if it exists already then we just gonna get that value from the object which is room name and let's also generate a token for generating for generating a token we're going to use the open talk client and the generate token function the generate token function gets the session id as a parameter 
and once we get the token we are able to s to return or, or to send back to the client the response so we're gonna set the response to use the JSON format so we're gonna uh, add a header with content type of application JSON and now let's send it okay we're gonna send the API key also the session ID and finally the token okay now if the room doesn't exist which is the case for the first user that joins the call we're gonna add the else clause and the first thing that we will do here is to actually create the session in the talkbox platform and to do so we will use the open talk client and the create session method in the create session you're gonna set two values the first one is media mode media mode can have two values either routed or relayed relayed is the peer-to-peer -peer offering that talkbox provides in the event that the peer-to-peer -peer connection is not possible then the communication will go through the turn server that is also provided by talkbox and routed is the alternative using the open talk media router which is the media server that the talkbox platform uses in this case we're gonna go with routed because we also gonna activate another feature which is the archive mode set to always what this is going to do is that when a call begins automatically talkbox will start recording that call and we can get that video later so we're gonna set this to always and now we just need a handler function here that will get uh, an error if any and the session information okay now we're gonna save the session information in the rooms object so room in the room name key value pair equals to session session ID now uh, we same as before we need to generate a token for the client to be able to uh, connect to the session so we go, I, I'm just gonna copy paste this code and um, in here and also I'm gonna add right format and now let's simple change instead of session ID here it will be session dot session id and the same here okay and now we're ready the next step is to set the client code for calling session creation when you're ready move to the next lesson